very warm welcome back to the show. Now, this whole morning we've been talking about that whole work-life balance. And in fact, when you're sitting at your desk, you want it to be a functional working environment, but you also just want it to be a visually appealing and inspiring one. And so our art director, Matana Katz, has been working hard over this weekend constructing this beautiful workspace, which is, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. But you're going to take us through some of these points of what were some of your ideas that, that make this place such a beautiful place and, and one that you actually want to actually sit at the desk and exactly, work. Exactly, yes. exactly. As, as you said, if you think about it, you spend so much time at a desk working. Yeah. So it's a really good idea to make it a space that you actually want to be in and you mm -hmm. want to work in. So if you look at basics first, okay. it's about looking for a good desk and a good chair. Okay. So this incredible desk, um, it's so beautiful, it's made by the designer Carlos La, um, and it's available at Stable, along mm -hmm. with all the other beautiful decor items that you can see here today. The wood and is beautiful to the touch. It, just... it's, it's absolutely beautiful. But what's great about it when you're looking for a good desk is good storage ideas too. So this desk actually shows and gives you compartments to pack away books and notes and files because um, so you don't want your area to be cluttered. You want a nice, clean environment that you can work in. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you're looking for a chair, look for something that's going to be really, really comfortable um, and give support for your back, mm -hmm. as you can see over here. And also the design's really beautiful. So once again, it fits in with your home, with your decor at home. Um, it works really beautifully together. Yeah. So those are the first two things you're going to look at. And I guess depending on how creative you are, they don't always have to match exactly. They like, don't have they to match exactly. Totally it's, different worlds. Exactly. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Um, then it's about um, small decor features to incorporate onto your desk. So plants are a great way to kind of lift a dull space, especially if you're in a room with, with um, you know, where your, your paint color maybe is very subdued. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great way to really bring life into it. So if you look at over here, we've got some Diva, which is a type of succulent plants. And I love, what I love about it oh, is yeah. that the bright pink flowers really help brighten up the space. Yes. Um, where do. you can, and they're also very low maintenance. So, you know, they don't need direct sunlight, um, but in winter it's something you can put in direct sunlight because the, the sun softer. Mm -hmm. So it's something that's low maintenance, which is which is great. Mm -hmm. um, then we can look at a fountain orchid. Also, very low maintenance. You can just put an ice cube or two in it once a week. It okay. does not need direct sunlight. And it's pretty happy to just sit there and be. You don't yeah. need to touch it. Um, and then an air plant. Um, also, low maintenance, great. It really uh, is a modern take on uh, adding a plant into your space, which I love. Yeah. Um, and then a little terrarium is also a beautiful way to just decorate your space. I know somebody uh, who has a Venus flytrap or fly, fly catcher on their <laughs> desk that they just occasionally feed worms to <laughs> That's also another really great idea. I Whatever guess it's a type fancy. of, you know, part of the cactus family. So yeah. that's, you know, that really works. Um, then some really beautiful decor features that are fun to kind of play with. So mm. take a spoof on kind of like, you know, your, your standard coffee mug um, or a really beautiful bowl <laughs> to keep snacks in. Um, try to keep it within your decor and your theme. This could be, this could be a metaphor for your work life <laughs> in some ways or another. So <laughs> careful what you pick, but this is cool I love though. it. It's so cool. <laughs> and then like a beautiful um, leather mouse pads are really great kind of also a modern take to kind of incorporate into your decor space. Mm -hmm. um, you know, beautiful pots and a clock's always great as well because it's good for time management if you're not always looking at the clock on your on your computer. Yes. Um, having something else to look at just to remind you mm -hmm. of your work schedule. Um, a beautiful lamp is always a good thing to invest in, especially if you're in a space that needs a lot of light and is in a kind of dark area. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think what's great is also having inspiration around you. So think about really good, great books, design books and magazines, depending on your industry, and a mood board. Yeah. Mood boards are so great to have because it's something inspirational that is personal to you and that you can change um, throughout the year and that you can change whenever you're focusing on something different. Exactly. So that's also something great to have yeah. um, to inspire you and to just help really put together your space. And it can also just kind of function as a bit of a vision board as well, not just exactly. the mood board, but like putting down your goals that I you just guess. are constantly reminded of right exactly. there. Exactly. It's so true. Beautiful. So yeah, so I think if you follow those simple steps, um, it's very easy to achieve a beautiful space, yeah. but just be aware of what kind of look and feel you're going for, what colors you're going for, um, and what you want to incorporate in your space to make it personalized to you. Well, I tell you what, I completely love what you've done with this space. And yeah, one day when I have the budget enough, I'll employ your services. So <laughs> thank you very much, Matana. <laughs> wow, that. hopefully that's inspired you a little bit. So let us know, what other ideas would you maybe see yourself incorporating into a work environment like this? And speaking of which, well, the question we're asking right now is, could taking a vacation help you to be more inspired, more creative, more productive? Something you might want to listen to so you can tell your boss.